it exceeded my expectations. I literally went to the theaters and probably saw it s total of six times, maybe five. I know it was not less than four. So, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, Justin DeJesus here and you're watching Popcorn and Joysticks. Now let's get into this because I am super excited. Now this is crazy right because um, you already know what we're about to get into but let me just tell you a little backstory really quick. Now I was getting ready for work and all of a sudden breaking news. I get alerts on my phone. I'm, I'm hooked into just about everywhere. I'm a bit of a sweaty nerd. Yeah. But today we're about to figure out just how sweaty I can be. This news, I don't, I don't want to say was a complete surprise, but it was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, I had thought, I had thought we already cast the cable, but we didn't, but we did now. And it is none other than Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. And it's crazy too, because we're going to get to see him as Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. But this is not about the Avengers. This is about Deadpool. Now, Deadpool, the first one, you guys, was a freaking surprise hit. I loved every bit and inch, no pun intended, of it. I really did. It exceeded my expectations. I literally went to the theaters and probably saw it a total of six times, maybe five. I know it was not less than four. So, yeah, I pretty much loved it and saw it with everybody I knew. Um, but look, I'm going to first, I want to I wanna dive in here to the... Um, uh, the breaking news story uh, it says Josh Brolin to play Cable in Deadpool 2 is an exclusive brought to us by the Hollywood Reporter all right so Josh Brolin. amazing it said uh, so the headline of the article it says here comes the cable guy before I get started here because I haven't read this yet I, I really hope I really hope somebody who knows about the character wrote this but let's let's see so it says, Josh Brolin has nabbed the hotly contested role of Cable opposite Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool 2. Uh, and it says, The Hollywood Reporter has learned. Uh, I continue. Uh, the production has been on the warpath to find a, uh, the right actor for the role for months. Uh, with Michael Shannon almost nabbing the role. That's who I thought. You guys, Michael Shannon, which I was going to so love. I love Josh Brolin though. I, I didn't see it and I see it now, so it's all good. But I, I thought Michael Shannon might have been cast. But anyway, uh, it says, With Michael Shannon almost nabbing the role and Stranger Things star uh, David Harbour on the shortlist. I'm not here about that one. Uh, there were even rumors uh, of conversations with Russell Crowe and Brad Pitt. I think I did hear about Brad Pitt. I was still pulling for Michael Shannon though. Anyway, uh, in the end, Brolin emerged as a surprise contender, notching his second Marvel Comics character in the process. The actor plays the villain Thanos in the Marvel Studios movies. Sources say Brolin's deal is for four movies. Are they talking about Deadpool? Because if that is the case, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Anyway, uh, David Leitch is directing the sequel to Fox's surprise blockbuster with the 20th Century Fox movie uh, heading toward a June production start in Vancouver. Uh, Reynolds is reprising his role as the wisecracking mercenary with the story expanding to include other characters from Deadpool's corner of Marvel's X-Men universe. Uh, Atlanta breakout uh, Zazie Beetz has already been cast as a superpowered merc named Domino, which I'm really excited to see her. Uh, Cable was co-created by Deadpool co-creator Rob Lee Field uh, and writer uh, Luis Simonson and is described as in many ways being the opposite of Deadpool, a man who is a leader and used uh, and used to being obeyed, who is very controlled, but with an aura of simmering violence. Of course. Uh, in the comics, Cable was from the future and was the adult son of Scott Summers, also known as the X-Men's Apocalypse. I mean, Cyclops. And then, it, and then it says in the comics, Cable was from the future and was the adult son of Scott Summers, also known as the X-Man Cyclops. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right, so before we go any further, before I go any further, um, it, that little thing gave you just a little bit about Cable, you guys, but I'm going to break it down a little bit more. So cue the picture. All right, so here is what Cable 
is going to or supposed to look like. I'm, I'm gonna say going to because if this movie is like the first Deadpool, it's gonna be straight up authentic. So there it is. Um, his real name is Nathan Christopher Charles Summer. You probably already know how, why that name breaks down. All right, and uh, his first appearance as Nathan Summers was in the Uncanny X-Men 201, 201, and that was in 1986. Uh, as Cable, then after, in New Mutants, issue 87, in 1990. Uh, I also want to talk, too, about his origin there a little bit, because the X Factor. Let's not forget that. Issue 67, 1991. Then, of course, Cable 7 through 8, 1994. And then Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix, um, which is how I was introduced to him in um, 1994, issues 1 through 4. Uh, that's actually, I read those. Um, I have a couple comics right now in my possession. Uh, of Cable, and it is his his own his own series thing. So this one was from '96, issue 37. Cable. It's uh, fanning the flames. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but uh, check that out. And then I have another badass one. Uh, this one is issue 19. It just says Cable. Um, this one I have not read yet. That one. I love Cable. Cable the character, man. I, I, I just, I remember seeing him and when he came, you know, from, from the future. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. The thing is with Cable, why this is such great news, you guys, is because we are expanding this universe, man. Like, I'm thinking, you know, we can, we can use, the, like, like Deadpool 1, when they used, um, Negasonic, uh, Teenage Warhead. What a freaking breakout character, man. And it's so crazy too because she didn't have, I mean, she wasn't throughout the entire film. Well, I think she, I don't know. Y'all know what I mean though. She was a side character, a supporting character, and she killed it, man. That was one of my favorite characters of that film. And then of course they did our boy Colossus, right? Which was amazing to see. I gotta tell you, man, through the accent, the look, just everything, man. So I am super, 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 super excited about Cable because um, this character, I feel they're going to definitely do it justice and to finally be introduced. It's funny too, y'all, because we got a little bit of, you know, somebody from the future in no pun intended days of future past. And we finally got to see Bishop, who was also from the future. I'm telling you, man, this is crazy. Um, you know, for all you other, I like to say, I, I say sweaty nerds all the time because it's just the lingo that I like to use. I've heard it before. I didn't make that up. You already know I didn't make that shit up. I probably heard it from comic book, man. Who knows? But, um, <laughs> uh, you know, you guys know who these characters are, I'm telling you. And if you don't read up on them, man, they are dope characters with crazy dope storylines. So, like I said, I really hope that this film is everything that I'm thinking and hoping that it's going to be because I really feel like, um, you know, this team behind Deadpool is going to do it right. And not to say any of the X-Men films did not, but let's be clear. The liberties that were taken, a lot of fans had outrage about. And I'm not going to get into it. It's not that type of video. We talking about breaking news right now. Deadpool 2, Josh Brolin. But don't forget about that. <laughs> and Deadpool 1, last year, y'all, Valentine's, that really brought it, man. It just raised the, it raised the ante. It really did. And so... Uh, Deadpool 2 got to bring it. I have complete faith in this film. And regardless of what anybody says, regardless of the problems, man, they just casted freaking Cable. We were promised Cable. We got Cable. Ain't nobody backtracking on it. And they didn't even start yet. So it's it's in pre-production, I think. And so you know he's going to be a main character in this film, throughout the film. Not like, uh, you know, a supporting character. Uh, he's going to be a star, just like Deadpool, man. And I am so, so excited. But you guys, it's all about you. We're doing these things, bringing it to you because we want to know your thoughts. So please comment down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. You're not going to be disappointed, man. We got tons and tons of video like this. We're going to continue to bring you, but weigh in. I will continue the conversation with you down below. And for y'all who have been following us, thank you for hopping on the PJ train yet again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. We will continue this conversation. Oh, and if y'all have any um, cable comics, man. You gotta uh, let me know which ones you have. Do you know about the character Cable? When were you introduced to Cable? I would love to know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Until our next video, I'm Justin DeJesus. Make sure you keep that popcorn popping and those joysticks rocking.